Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to be showing you how I do my 3D text, the real fancy kind for my montages here. Okay, so first thing, we're going to open up Sony Vegas Pro 13 here. i got to open up uh, the project here, have it saved on my desktop. That's crash reload because it crashed once. Taking a little bit of time here. Okay. It's a pretty big file, um, 15 minutes. This is my Christmas montage right here. Okay, so we'll zoom in. This is the part of the segment I want to have text in, okay? So I just want it in the doorway right there, okay? So what I would do is highlight this right here and render it just like normal file render as. But instead of rendering it as a video, I would render it as an image sequence. So under the options, you go to image sequence and click JPEG, okay? And then you would render. Um, before rendering, you don't want it just set on your desktop because then you're going to have like, you know, 200 images on your desktop. You don't want that. So create a new folder somewhere. Um, and then render it in that side that new folder. I already have mine rendered um, just to speed up the process. So have that rendered out in this folder right here called folder number two. So now we're going to open up a program called Buju. <coughs> Come on. Alright, so once we have this open, or so I import the image sequence. So we're going to go to that folder I just told you about. It's in the uh, desktop uh, 2 and click on the first one and frame rate you can't do 60 because Cinema 40 doesn't work with 60 so you're gonna have to do 30 and slow down in Sony Vegas so you do 30 um, click apply it's gonna go back down to 25 I don't know why I click 30 again apply close okay so as we as you can see we got it right here this is that scene we want so first thing we're gonna attract the features okay all frames and it's gonna attract the movement pretty cool looking Oh. And this scene doesn't have a whole lot of movement. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you one at the end that has a little bit more movement. It looks pretty cool that I'm almost done with. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're done with that. As you can see, it's uh, got the movement down pretty well. So now we're gonna go to uh, camera solve here, optimize the path smoothness, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, not too much though, and it's just gonna. It's just going to connect to the points um, that it did before that are good, that aren't choppy or whatever. So, <laughs> so close. Okay. All right. So we've got some yellow and blue points. As you can see, they stay in the same spot. Pretty cool. All right. So now we got to update. We got to do the scene geometry, which can be a pain in the butt. Okay. But if you know, if you've been uh, doing algebra, you know x, y, and z axis. X is horizontal. Y vertical Z is depth so I'm going into and out of the page with C okay so we click on scene geometry here we're gonna add coordinate from hint okay first we can do their origin which is the point is gonna be about the middle so um, as I'm scrolling through kinda I want my text to be about right here so I'll just pick this point on the ground it's my origin connect a selected update coordinate frame okay now we're gonna add another coordinate from a hint this time we're gonna do x-axis so we want two points that are next to each other on the ground Okay, these two right here, you're going to hold control to hit the second one. These two look like they're pretty next to each other. Um, connect a selected update coordinate frame. This, and this part really isn't too important. Okay, you just need to get something. So for Y axis, I'm trying to look at two points that are up and down from each other about. These, these two look pretty good. Um, so I'll uh, add coordinate from hit, Y axis. Um, I don't remember which two I said. but. Uh, these two look like they'll be pretty good. Okay, connect a selected update coordinate frame. All right, I'll do one more just to be safe. You probably only need to do two dimensions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three. So the z-axis. This is forward and back. Um, so we want something that's on the same same level, but uh, forward and back. So I'll go ahead and do these as my z-axis here, and. Uh, here because as you can see like this is going into the middle of the page here um, if that makes any sense at all if it, if it doesn't just don't worry about it connect the selected update coordinate frame okay so update it close it now we're gonna add a test object it's gonna be whack um, I can never get it to be perfectly like up and down like this um, but as long as it stays in the same spot about where we want our text that's what matters okay and as you can see it does that okay so now what we're going to do is exp uh, export the camera, okay, 
I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Um, I'll call it Camera Solve 2. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I'm typing like over my mic so my hands are all weird. Okay, um, we're going to export it to Cinema 4D because that's what we're going to do next. Um, uncheck this box right here. Start index. You want to be a zero and you want to scale it by 100. <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't know. Um, and save. So we're good with that. Okay. So minimize this for now. Here's our camera solve too. First thing you're gonna have to open it is with Notepad. Okay. So you're gonna Control F, find um, negative pi. So negative 3.1415, etc., etc. I don't know why, um, but you do have to fix this. So delete the zero above it when you find it. Copy this and paste it over to negative pi to make it zero. So that's the first correction. And the next correction is you have to replace. So parent item one followed by six zeros one two three four five six one tab replace with parent I I don't have my glasses on because I have headphones one two three four five six two parent item two all right um, so replace all okay now that we're done with that you save it make sure you save it okay um, then you open with Cinema 4D so now we're moving on to Cinema 4D Okay, yeah, that's nice. I don't know. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do here is create a new material. Um, double click on that, go to texture under the color tab, and load image. We're going to get the background going here so it's not just gray. Okay, so ours was in, our image sequence was in folder number two on the desktop. So you just click the first one here. Click no right here. I don't know what it's asking, but just click no. Click on the image, go to animation. Um, click calculate so it should calculate the end frame there then go over here to editor click animate preview you should be good now you're going to want to add a background in oh control Z didn't mean to do that okay hold down click go to background and once you have the background you drag the material over onto the background boom got a nice uh, extend the view panel got a nice moving background here and our coordinate frame isn't moving and that's exactly what we want so now we're going to mow graph, mow with text, and uh, we uh, do our thing here with the text. So, Merry oh, Christmas, Merry Christmas, okay, it's going to say Merry Christmas. Okay, I should probably put a indention in there, okay. Okay, so as I, as I said earlier, um, that beetle looking thing was pretty whacked up. But you know we can always fix it. Just rotate it here. It's a lot easier than trying to get that coordinate frame right. Okay, so I'll just move it a little bit. Okay, and something like that. Okay, so now that we've got it placed, if you scroll through, look. Oh, it stays there. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so this one doesn't have a whole lot of movement. Not that impressive. Um, I will show you. This is Camera Solve Two. I did one right before this to make sure I knew how to do it. I did. Oh. <laughs> Open with Cinema 4D. Okay, and this one's a little bit more impressive. Okay, um, so you come down in here and then you swoop around. It's like, oh, yeah, this one's pretty nice looking. And as you can see, it's real smooth. Um, comes right in there. <laughs> Obviously, there's a problem with it up in here. In the first part of it. Um, so I won't, I won't start it until about right here, you know. Whee! But that's how I do it. And if you want it to animate and stuff, you just mess with the mo text. That's a whole different story. Um, but I'm not going to animate these. I'm just going to have them sitting there. And yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, that's how I do it. Oh. So uh, Merry Christmas, guys. I'll uh, I'll see you later. 